Okay, this is Saturday afternoon. Uh, around the 20th of February, these two jokers have been on that tee box for about a half an hour. The guy on the right is my next door neighbor. He's renting the house next to me. Uh, they've hit they've hit about 35 or 40 balls so far in the last half hour. Uh, the guy on the right walks around the lake every afternoon and picks up balls out of the lake, right? Well, here's what he does with it, all the balls that he does. Him and this joker now haven't got a greens fee. They just walked back there. And all the balls he's taken out of the lake in the last week, they've been hitting now for the last half hour. Uh, I don't mind this, except uh, I'm in range. My house is in range and down range of that tee box. It's bad enough when I have to put up with golfers who pay greens fees who hit my house. These guys are obviously beginners. They don't know what they're doing. They're using the golf course as a driving range. Now, what kind of remedy do I have against these guys if they, one of them gets away? They're both amateurs. They're trying to hit from the black tees on this hole. I'm the most penalized person on this hole. I'm the one closest to the tees. I'm the one that's going to get hit first if they lose one to the right. I've got two jokers now that are coming off the tee box and they're going to walk up to the house that lives next to me. All right? I had to put up with this. If any of those shots, those 40 or 50 balls they hit in the last half hour using that for a driving range would have got away from them to the right, I'd have a broken window or a broken solar panel. It happens all the time. I've got golf balls in my yard all the time. This is trespass. They've been using your tee box as a driving range. First of all, the guy steals golf balls out of the lake all week that aren't his, he doesn't have a green sphere or fishing license, and then he takes all the golf balls he steals, and he goes up on the tee box, and he risks my windows and my house. They don't know what they're doing, and they pick the longest tee boxes. How are you? The next time you jokers want to hit stolen golf balls out of the lake from the longest tee box without paying a greens fee, this is going on YouTube right now. It's going on YouTube. You're in my face. Okay? You walked up there. You hit about 50 balls in a half an hour. And you're smiling. I guess you got white privilege to do that, right? You got an agreement with the clubhouse or something where you can steal balls all week out of the lake and then go back there and spend 45 minutes and balls off the tee. Every one of those balls that you teed up had a chance of breaking my window. I put up with this day in and day out. You only been here a year. You're a rookie here. Almost two years. Almost two years. Two years of white privilege. You oh. question anybody that goes up and down here. You watch everything that moves around here. I don't know if you have a job. What are you, a Wall Street investor or something like that? Do you work? Do you work? You know what I do. I work every day. You see me out here. What do you do? Are you a lawyer? Did they assign you here? Well, I'll tell you what. This is going on YouTube, and it's going to the clubhouse. It's going to the police department. All right? You understand? Thank you very much. Thank you for the...